Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's variant four, and this is chapter two, quest one. And I'm gonna show you what I consider the easiest path for your initial clear. All right, so I've already looked through the paths. I urge you to do the same. Evaluate it based on your roster and who you have to bring into this particular uh, quest. So here are the nodes. You've got cornered and power efficiency. For me, that is pretty simple. Uh, power efficiency just means they're going to fire or they will be able to fire more specials. And the cornered just means you do not want to place a debuff on them, a damaging debuff. So as long as you go in here with someone who does not place any damaging debuffs on the opponent, you should have no problem whatsoever. Very easy path. So of course I brought in Ghost. She is a great option uh, for this path and for quite a few other paths as well. Uh, you see she was able to take out that Spider-Man uh, pretty straightforward. All right, now this next fight is Captain America. Now I brought in Corvus. Now you can see Captain America has the Avengers flag. One of Corvus's missions is to down an Avenger. So I brought in Corvus. Now I didn't have to. I wasn't really planning on using Corvus for a lot of stuff, but since I did bring him, it was sort of a reflex. Now, as the health pools start to rise, Corvus becomes a little less effective. So eventually, if they keep going up, you're gonna have to boost, run suicides, just so that you could maintain your effectiveness with Corvus. Um, but remember, this is variant. This is not like the monthly event quest. The monthly event quests seem to be tuned, at least the uncollected mode. Uh, their health pools are pretty much the same as they have been, so Corvus is still a great option. But for some of this content, the health pools are a bit more inflated. Now, Corvus has a mission, and the more missions he gets, the harder he hits. So if you can beef up Corvus with missions and you're running suicides, you're gonna do pretty well. Um, but it's gonna come to a point where you're gonna have other options that are superior just because of the large health pools. I tend to use Corvus mainly in Alliance Quest these days, and I use Ghost other places because she hits hard and she handles so many different nodes. All right, so as you can see here, she just took out that carnage real quick. Love Ghost. She is definitely one of my favorites. She is the most versatile uh, champion, I believe, in the game. She can't handle everything, but she can handle most things. Now we got ambushed by this Moon Knight, but he doesn't have the cornered or the uh, power uh, efficiency or whatever it was. Uh, he's just a regular Moon Knight, but whenever you do this, you want to check the phase of the moon because Moon Knight gains abilities based on the real moon phases. So just look it up uh, online. But the one that I hate the most is the one that gives him a high chance to evade. Really hate that one. Uh, he has another one where his attacks have a high chance to stun. So if you get hit, chances are you're gonna get stun locked and wrecked. So you just wanna kinda pay attention to that. I didn't look it up because I was pretty sure Ghost could handle it. All right, so down he went and we are on to the next fight. Now, this next fight, straightforward, again, pretty easy. It is Iron Man Infinity War. Now, I can use Ghost against him but Corvus is such a great counter for him. Now, I already got a mission off of Captain America because he was an Avenger. Well, Iron Man Infinity War is also an Avenger and he's a tech champion. Corvus gains a mission when he downs a tech champion. 
So even if I had not gotten a mission off of Captain America, I would have gotten two missions off of this. So Corvus is gonna end up with two missions after this fight. Now, with the exception of one time, I've not really lost to Iron Man Infinity War with Corvus. Uh, you see, I got caught there, but that shock damage, Corvus doesn't take damage from the shock. So it's actually gonna heal me up a little bit. Like I said, he is a great option. You can see how many times I had to evade the specials. That's because of that node. All right, so here we go. And down he goes. Now, I might have been able to get another mission when I got the auto block. If I could have knocked him down without killing him, that would have been a third mission that Corvus would have gotten out of this. But it's all good. I wasn't really planning on using Corvus against the boss. All right, so now we're going to fight Human Torch. Ghost is a great option here, of course. And when I first fought Human Torch with Ghost, I got wrecked. I didn't know how to evade his special. And for some reason, I couldn't get the phases. I was still new to Ghost. But I've learned. And now he is not a problem for me whatsoever. Down he goes. Boom, boom. All right, now we are at the boss. Now, this boss, Wolverine. Now I've fought this particular node before, at least one of the nodes uh, where they get attack and uh, unblockable attacks, the vigorous assault. I've dealt with that before. So you just need to, when they have a regen, just be careful. Uh, you see picture of health, they're immune to regen rate modification. I didn't see that at first, uh, or really I didn't read it very well. Uh, but when I see Wolverine and I think regen, I think void. Let me bring in a void. Now, in my other fights where I was exploring this, I just use ghost. Perfectly fine. Uh, I don't think you need any particular counter for this Wolverine. You just need to play around that node. So you need to be careful. Once you see, like right here where he's regening, all his attacks are unblockable. So you just need to either be attacking him or dance around so that you can just let that regen wear out. Okay? But... This fight went uh, fairly well. You can see that I'm still doing damage, but I'm not really doing anything to his regen. That's because of that node. Otherwise, this fight would have been over much quicker. All right, so Void can do it, but he's not the best option for this fight. Uh, simply because if you're thinking of, you know, reversing the healing and all of that, not gonna happen as you can see we're not getting any extra damage on the heal reversal like you see that regen there no extra damage but void is still placing his debuffs and so we're still getting some damage but in any case uh we didn't have too much trouble with him uh you don't want to be too close to him when he uh, is regening because he will catch you. All right, so you can see I just uh, tried to bait out specials if he's regening like that, and I'm attacking, and down he went. So not a difficult fight, pretty straightforward, all right? So take care, everybody. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all... Have a blessed day.